Welcome to Expert Insights, your window to industry trends and an inside look from the decision makers shaping them. Today, we are featuring Stephanie Smith, Global Tax Manager at Active Payroll, on the evolution of the concept of global mobility in the age of remote work. Obviously, throughout the pandemic, um, remote working has become much more common and so has international remote working as people have realized that if they can do their job from home, could home potentially be elsewhere, perhaps somewhere a little warmer or a little sunnier? Employers need to consider whether their employees' presence in that host country has implications for the company in terms of a number of things, including immigration, employment law, contractual requirements, entity requirements, uh, and payroll registration and withholding requirements. Another challenge that we've come across with lots of clients is the tracking of employees and their whereabouts. And that's why it's important for employers to now consider policy and tracking facilities for their employee base so that they can monitor where people are um, and ensure that they take advice on the circumstances to ensure their compliance. There's also the challenge that many HR teams have found in drawing up policy on this issue and finding a happy medium between the requirements and implications of the company of having people work internationally, perhaps when they weren't expecting to. The key items for drawing together a, a corporate policy are that they need to consider all of the challenges that I've mentioned. So looking at the immigration, uh, looking at the um, at at the various other payroll registration requirements, the entity registration requirements, and it's very difficult. They can have a, an overarching policy, of course, um, but it's very difficult uh, unless they all have very similar legal requirements in those countries to have one overarching policy. The main change to the way people are looking at global mobility since remote working has become more prevalent is that companies are seeing that it opens up a whole new talent pool for them to bring on board the skills they need to grow globally from a much earlier point in their growth cycle. You know, the whole world essentially becomes a recruitment opportunity for companies looking to grow and build their brands internationally. And companies are able to look at hiring local employees internationally at any point. You know, there are always options available, some more difficult than others, of course, depending on the countries which are being considered. But it certainly op opens up skills and experience which these companies potentially didn't think they had access to before. And of course, as I've said, with these opportunities comes challenges, but it's certainly going to open up these opportunities for many more companies. I think the main opportunity here is for global growth, but getting the right person for the right role, no matter where they live, Employers can review what they need um, and are no longer limited to considering people just within commuting distance from the office to come and work for them. With that comes the opportunity to look at remote workers in different countries. So perhaps not even countries um, where those companies have considered moving into as part of their global growth, uh, their global growth plans, um, but with the right people on board, um, with the right skills and experience, the opportunities here for companies to grow their brand internationally are really quite significant. Those opportunities, employers must also consider the obligations that come with that. So it's important that employers seek advice on how best to structure their international employee program uh, to remain compliant across the globe, depending which countries they're looking to enter. For us, the main one we've seen is the use of technology for employee tracking. You might need to be tracking movements or work days or business travel and having a real time tracking mechanism will ensure that any risks are picked up and dealt with as soon as they arise, rather than coming to light down the line when you have the risk of, of um, having to deal with things retrospectively. We've also seen an increase in the use of quality HR systems, um, which can help aid compliance for companies in terms of moving data quickly and efficiently between systems to allow for more integration and a less manual workload. That there will be a return to some kind of normal, a new normal, as they say. Uh, of course, the last 18 months has taught us to expect the unexpected. The main change we'll see, um, as we've spoken about, is more international remote working, as well as domestic remote working. 
Um, this is a really welcome addition to the global mobility sphere and, and one which could lead to companies growing their international footprint much quicker than they could have anticipated. It's also likely that we'll see a change to the frequency and structure of traditional assignments. That could simply be because companies are open to hiring locally, internationally, um, but I don't think that this will be the end of the, the normal assignment arrangements.